So Justine and Caleb give their first exclusive interview and they are not a charity case, guys. They are not a charity case. And this is why people are angry with their first interview. I would, I would love to read some tweets, just a few from the viewers to give you guys a little idea of how people are feeling. So, okay. Hey guys, it's Murad Muradi. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad and Murali. Subscribe to the channel and let's just get straight into this video. So Justine and Caleb give their first interview to Entertainment Tonight and people are angry guys. People are really angry with the interview the person is interviewing them and how you know she picked out a lot of tweets that kind of gave this oh we feel sorry for justine she was like a pity party she was a ch charity case that's why she won because everybody felt sorry for her from day one this one justine went from being no one's option to being caleb's only option and i can't think of any couple more deserving we have never seen black love like this on a reality Look at justine we see ourselves we see the women we see the history of her love life and the struggles in dating she's faced as a dark-skinned woman. We understand her tears and her pain. And, and it's like, yes, that could be a plausible answer, but the issue that people have is, and the issue that I have is, it's not the only answer. What people don't understand, it seems, is that Justine was unproblematic. I hate that word so much because everybody is pro is problematic because nobody is perfect so i don't mean by the fact that she's perfect but i feel like she had no problems in the issue in, um, no problems in the villa sorry in comparison to the other girls her and caleb literally were smooth sailing the other relationships were capsizing for me being such a huge fan of the show um, i've seen all the uks and everything like that um and i love the skin i'm in you know i love the way god made me but i think that a lot of those insecurities too is because um, a lot of the black girls haven't had much success on this kind of platform. And so to kind of have those doubts be brought out early on, it was um, it was definitely hard, but um, uh, it, would, turned out, it turned out all right. They were the only ones that were smooth sailing. So there are several different components that led to them winning. Justine won, not only because you know, she may have had a tough time in the villa, but because her, she's a very open, honest, relaxed, individual and Caleb came in and obviously mirrored that behavior and they both seemed to be great for each other and they were great TV they gave this appeal this whole word Jaleb was coined like a fandom you could say there are plenty of different reasons for why they won it wasn't because they felt so sorry for Justine like it seems that I don't know people are really irritated someone said what's wrong with the interviewer Justine and Caleb won because they have a relationship everyone would want to have lots of love trust and communication Justine is honestly extremely gorgeous too Caleb is a very lucky dude so people are really upset um saying that you know the tweets she, she picked to talk to talk about were the wrong ones stop trying to turn justin some kind of sorry you know charity case they won because you know they were most they were, they were the most genuine that was the reason for why they won so i feel like we're still taking our time out here as well um we didn't we didn't let i don't know like winning and just make it to the end like change anything between us um like, yeah, we're already we, talking about that right now. We'll, we'll probably see each other in a couple of weeks and we'll keep seeing each other until we can figure out a way to like be in the same place or at least in the same vicinity. Because they were genuine. And the interview basically kept on. And this is what it is. Like when you have um, people from different life outputs or you know mostly brought on and rooted by you know being a different race of an individual you just don't understand how to know how to talk to somebody without trying to coming off a bit dim you know with a kind of a derogatory kind of tone and i don't think it's intentional it's just your life is so different that you just don't know you don't have that input you don't have that understanding which is why you know you normally should have people who are interviewing you who are probably the same race as you because then you're able to understand each other a little, a little bit better um you're able to just have the better lexicon or you know just understanding of the uh, the world and how you have your conversation there's more comfortability and more fluidity i feel like stuff like this is important she probably doesn't even know she's doing it but like, the tweets she's picking out there were so many better tweets i just feel so the fact that they're kind of making them into kind of like a or her it's like a charity case i don't think it's that serious i don't think it's heavily intentional um, from you know the person interviewing her. I don't at all, but that's how it comes across. And this is why everyone in the comments seems to be so irritated by how this is going on. But I thought I'd get into it guys. They talk about their journey in the interview. They talk about, you know, um, I like how Caleb said that, you know, he can't speak from a dark skin person's um, perspective because that's not who he is. And that in itself, I feel like is a very intellectual perspective. If you don't know how to speak from somebody's position, which most people don't, don't speak for somebody. 
don't dictate somebody's experiences. You can echo support for people, that is totally fine. You can use yourself as an echo chamber to push out more support for people, but you can't dictate how somebody feels. That is something that you can never do because it just comes across as very, very ignorant. Um, so I'm glad that he was able to come from that perspective and talk about that. They just, you know, seem to be a very wholesome couple. Yeah, let me know your thoughts are, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another, in for another interview, for another video.